Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to talk about our daily drinkers right now. Yeah, that's actually, so Daily Drinkers is actually one of our first videos we did. It's not the first video, but one of our first one of the, videos One we of did. the first few. Our first video was High Angel Share. That's true. That's true. The very first High Angel Share batch one. But we like doing Daily Drinkers because, A, it kind of just sees where we're at, uh, you know, with the stuff that we like, sure. how it changes. Uh, but two, what I have come to realize is, my stuff changes not because of what I like. It's because availability. <laughs> that There, there like, is a lot of truth Like I, I hate saying it like that, but like as I'm sitting through here, I was telling Dave I was going to go into a rant. The very first video we did, I like three of the bottles I can't get anymore. I, I can't get any more Russell's Reserve Single Barrels anymore just because they're if they do or if they are released, they're gone. They are. And they're just not out on a regular basis anymore for us around here locally. You can't find rare breed. The, the places I go hasn't had wild turkey rare breed in months. Maybe they have a bottle issue. It, I'm hoping it's a glass issue. Dear Lord, Emily, Almighty, like, please just let me a glass issue. I mean, issue. one of mine here is potentially on a glass issue. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that no, you picked one that is, and I didn't pick it just because I'm having a hard time finding picks. So yeah, that that is actually you know really actually I stopped by Kroger today, uh, and Kroger had like five of them just sitting there. I didn't get it, but I'm gonna go back tomorrow and get one. We'll we'll go back to all that later. Yeah. And then the other ones are becoming allocated, such as Stag Junior. Stag Junior is not my daily rotation anymore. I, I can't. I could drink it, but then I'm gonna eventually be out of stack junior you're gonna, gonna eventually run out i'm gonna eventually run out i'm just i'm looking at his uh, listen when i do this that means i'm looking at this uh shelf that is just st of storage shelf and it'll take him a while to run out of stack junior it can be done and also Carter, oh, i'm sure oh, it could oh, be old carter's the other thing too like the old carter like here's yeah, what's the, crazy yeah they raise the prices to like 250 a bottle or 240 a bottle locally is what they're going for now like just retail and they were gone. I didn't get one of the American whiskeys. That's a very uncommon thing. I used to be able to go and get those bottles, sip on them for a minute, think about if I really wanted to get, get more or not. Yeah. And then, boom, I can buy more. And now, you have to be there. Because if you're not, they're gone within an hour. It's baffling to me, but that's just, it is what it is. So, even though I did, I, I well, I... Almost had an opportunity to get one, but instead I picked a bottle for the channel instead. Well, aren't you just kind? Yeah, well, you know. His his kindness knows no bounds. It's the way it is. Yeah. And if you know Zach, you know that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start the list off really quick. So one of my few staples, thankfully that's not going anywhere, is Old Forester 1920. I say this isn't going anywhere. Please don't make it go anywhere. <laughs> It's one of the greatest. I mean, please don't let it go anywhere. It's one of the greatest yeah. bourbons ever released. And it's not because it's the greatest bourbon ever released, but it's because the availability of it is ultimately its strong, its strong suit. It is so amazing and it's so good. And it's always that's on the front too. Uh that 115 proof is yeah. just and I'm still sipping on I still have like three or four bottles of the old batch. It's not because I was worried about you know, the new label and the new batch chasing any different. I've blinded them a dozen times. I haven't noticed the difference or whatever. I just got them all super cheap at Costco one time. So yeah. I just stocked yeah. up. So, but this is seriously so one true. of the best bottles on the market <clears throat> that you can find and that you can get. And I am so grateful for Old Forester because, like, again, I love Wild Turkey. And I love all these other bourbons I'm going to talk about. This is a consistent. Yep, always yeah. consistent for sure. Uh, another one that, well, I'd love to say that it's always consistent, but it's not. Uh, but this particular one that's my daily drinker, this is a specific one. This is the C920. Uh, if you remember Zach and I talking about, um, have we released that video yet? Uh, no, nope, I think it comes out tomorrow. We, <laughs> yeah, I we we yeah, yeah, I think we will. Yeah, I think we will. I think by the time this is... If, <laughs> We're talking about the newest release of of uh, Elijah Craig Barrel. They Proof. would have already known this yeah. by this time. Yeah. So, <laughs> just making sure. Sometimes yeah. you know we record these things, and uh, sometimes they get stacked on each other. Uh, this is the C920, which is 
uh, remarkably one of our both of our favorite releases in a while. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. And this uh, batch was incredible. I wish I had more of it. I don't, I don't have any more. This is one of this is the staple. And if you can see how much is left, I'm nursing this now. But this is the this is my Elijah Craig go to. This is what I I pull off the shelf every time I can. Yeah. Uh, it's a heater. It's always it never fails me. It's always so good. So for for as much as what we it's not that we didn't like, but it. Last year's Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs weren't our favorite. I was going to put on there all the single barrel picks that we've had, but then he was going to do that one, so I was yeah. like, well, I'll sleep it off. But, yeah, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, as hard as what they, quote-unquote, are to come by, at least for us in this area, we do have a lot of access to them. Yeah, we do. Which is sure. nice. So, talking about another one that we're going to do a review about, because it won't be out by now. Oh, Granddad 114. Now... Again, if you're a stranger to this channel, then you probably don't know, but we love this bottle. Yeah, we, we've talked we about this bottle, bottle multiple times. Multiple time. We've put them on different seasonal releases. It's one of our top bottles for $30 and under. Mm -hmm. This bottle here, you know, we joked around about it a little bit. Fred Minnick just ranked it, you know, on his wine tasting, his favorite bottle, I think, for under 40 bucks. Under 40 bucks, yeah. And so, you know, the joke is now, oh gosh, now we got to worry about a Granddad 114 <laughs> going out. We probably will. It's but, probably true. But seriously, this bottle, I mean, I say that, there, there's quite a bit of it out there. There is. Knock on wood. This bottle's incredible. It is. It's, it has nice fruitiness to it. It has nice cinnamon to it. It's an incredible product that is a daily shelfer that Jim Bean makes. And I'm telling you, that proof is perfect at 114. It is. It does not get the love and the respect that it should. I feel like enough people have talked about it that it it should we've been be talking there. about it since our channel's been in yeah. existence. So true, basically. I feel so like. good. So yeah. always good. Uh, my next one is uh, kind of one of the newer releases that have been out. Uh, is this Green mm -hmm. River? Um, I just really like it uh, for a thirty-five dollar bourbon. Fantastic! Uh, it's fantastic. It's also a craft. Yeah, also a craft. Yeah, and uh, just does a really good job. Uh, it has. It hits all the things that I want in kind of a, just an everyday, if I'm going to pull something off the shelf, this is one that I look at and I just go, yeah, this is going to be good. So I'm just going to grab it. I'm going to drink it. Uh, not to mention that the bottle is really cool, um, which makes it even even that more appealing. So Yeah, they did a great job yeah, with it. They Green did. River, yeah. love your stuff. Yeah. It's, 90 proof, it's, it's, it's just it's, a real, real easy drinker. Yeah. So always good. No doubt. All right, so... Number three for me, number, I guess, five. Number five. Over, yep, five overall. Cooper's Craft, the old Hunter Proofer out of the Cooper's. This bottle, I kid you not, I didn't, I never tried this bottle until I started the channel. And then people were like, you gotta try it, you gotta try it, you gotta try it. I was like, all right, fine, I'll, I'll try it. It's Brown Foreman, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna like <laughs> it. What I didn't know is I was gonna love it. Yeah, good. And it is, it, like, I know it's not, everywhere for people to be able to try that's what i have found out it's not not everybody has access to it but man if you're if you're passing through i, I mean i can't tell you enough stop getting one of these bottles what is this 28 no nah, i think it's more than that is it more than that now i, I, mean, I feel I like gonna, when it was first on it was it was cheaper well you have the 86 proof that's cheaper too yeah uh um, maybe that's what i'm but yeah it's just they do this i think it's like the schnatza whatever you know barrels or whatever where they cut the grooves within the barrel to help you know, let it let more liquid get into the barrel, you know, and age a little differently and stuff like that. It's it's incredible. Yep. And it's brown form. Yep. So you know Always so, yeah, you know. <laughs> we have a love affair with uh brown form. Yeah. Uh number six on the list, and number my number three. Uh this is the one that we were talking about at the beginning of the video. It's a wood for double oak. This one happens to be a store pick. Mm. Um but honestly any double oak is a good double oak. I have not met a double oak that's not um and, and so it's just a good staple again it's one that if i'm looking through my bottles and i'm going mm, what do I, want? I don't know what i want i, I know that I, without a doubt i can just grab this and go i'm gonna enjoy this no matter yeah. what time of year it is whether it's the winter the summer the fall i don't it doesn't matter i'm gonna enjoy it it's a great seasonal bourbon like yeah. it, it just it it is. I, I totally agree with you. It is. It drinks well anytime, cold, hot, whenever. Perfect. And again, uh, getting people to drink this. Who uh, I have a lot of novice bourbon drinking friends, mm -hmm. uh, and so because of that, 
they're they're drinking like lower end lower end stuff and this is not by any means a higher end stuff but it is a good solid fifty dollar bourbon and you put this in their in their glass and and they go oh this is what good bourbon tastes like yeah i'm like yes this is what good bourbon tastes like so well, and it's also such great value in finding picks and what's yes. crazy is, is like he's having better luck finding good picks than what I have been yeah. with this, which well, is hilarious. And the cool thing is, is the price is not much different. Like this cost me sixty five dollars, so like ten dollars over what retail is, and I got well, right now that's a steal. Like right now, I'm yeah. just trying to be able to find a good pick. Yeah, or not even a good pick, just trying to find a pick, a pick. of Woodford Double Oak right now yeah. is incredibly hard. All right, so something that I have just absolutely fallen in love with over this past year not well past few months sagamore spirits cast strength rye this thing just honestly is like i I don't know if it's my favorite rye on the market right now but it's definitely one of them um i don't know when we're gonna do a review over this it might already be out i I don't know when we're gonna do Mm -hmm. and do the review we've tried doing the review over this handful of times already but man, like this. There's stuff, not much left in this bottle because we've done the review. No, we've had technical difficulties yeah. every single time. It's so true. But seriously, guys, like I cannot stress this enough how just incredible for a ride that this is. Like it's just it's it's so good. I, I don't know right now. I well, actually, I have another ride on my list, and those are my two favorite rides. And everything else just. Honestly, you can just go kick rocks. Like, <laughs> Mictors produces great rise, don't be wrong, but like this it is can like... kick rocks. It can go kick rocks right now because I just love the Sagamore Spirits. No. Uh, my number... What is this? Number eight? This is my number four. Uh, not a lot of people talk about this, but it's out there. Uh, this is David Nicholson Reserve. I don't even think I've ever had it. Uh, this one's uh, an older bottle because uh, I think they've changed the bottle. This is a Lux Row um, product, so... However you feel about Lux Row, it may be how you feel about David Nicholson. Uh, I like it. Uh, it's just a good, simple, uh, everyday drinker. It's about 100 proof. I think it's right at 100 proof. I think it says 100 proof on it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and so, uh, of the Lux Row things, this is my probably my favorite Lux Row uh, uh, bourbon. And just enjoy it. And it's, it's one that nobody talks about a lot. Uh, and it, again, this is like a $30, $32, $33 bourbon. Just a good drinker. So, I will say, for the first time ever having that, with drinking that, if you throw in a splash of presents, choice 17, which is what I was just sipping on, I agree, it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, I mean, you throw, you throw any presents choice in there. Just throw a splash, splash in there. Splash. splash. You know, not Coke. Pretty good. But... President's Choice 17. All right. So the other rye that I think I'm, I'll be honest with you, I think I've only ever heard one other channel talking about it. Um, and so my apologies to any other channel out there that I haven't heard talk about this bottle. But Redemption 10 Year Barrel Proof Rye Whiskey. This is, I'm totally getting ready to get elbowed in the face. No, I already feel it coming. I'm going. I, it, I thought that cork was going to be much bigger, but. Performance issues. Yeah. Only in the course, not in the rye whiskey. Guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, whoever's out there listening, <laughs> if you're new to this whole bourbon game, back in the day, you used to be able to find 10, 12, 14, 15 year old MGP products all day long. Can't find that anymore. True. Unless you're buying this. This is 10 year old. MGP, which is, oh, it used to be MGP, now it's... Whatever. The it's artist like, formerly known as MGP. It's Ross and Squibb now. Ross and Squibb. Mm. Yeah. No, no, sounds like a Nickelodeon so, show or something. So, from here on out, Ross and Squibb be, will be known as MGP. <laughs> yeah. So, but they source it from that. It's 10 years old. Here's the here's the best thing about it. It's 80 bucks. Now, I know what some people are going to be out there saying, like, 80 bucks? Hey, it's not cheap. 80 bucks for 10 year old MGP whiskey goes on the secondary for hundreds and hundreds. True. And sometimes even thousands of dollars. Like, there is a reason why the old MGP stuff people hunt for and people gather and they don't let go of it. It's amazing. Yeah. This stuff here is amazing. It's, like I said, this and Sagamore Cash Strength, you know, 
I, you can't find this all the time. Luckily, I found this at Kroger. It was on sale for $69.99. And I bought Ooh, everything. They, and they, yep. And they let me buy everything I could. I had to go in and out of the store twice. But I bought everything I could. And I'm telling you, if you can find these, you can occasionally find these at Total Wine, Kroger, stuff like that. Buy it. Like, don't even think about it. I know the price is high. If you like rye whiskey, buy it. Off the soapbox. <laughs> Off the soapbox. Uh, my last one. Uh, this is just, I feel like it doesn't even really need an introduction. No. It's Evan Williams Bottle and Bond. Just as smooth as a baby's butt. <laughs> just, I mean, so good. It's a good mixer. You, you like, you can just sip on it, put some ice on it if you want to. It, I mean, just drink it straight out the bottle if you want to. This is a good one to kind of wet your palate for some other bourbon that just, some other high end bourbon at the, at the end, at the end of the day. I agree. Um. You notice this one's not open. It's because I just re I'm restocking, yeah. uh, and this was my restock. I just hadn't opened it back up yet. So, if it's arguably, if it's not Old Granddad 114 for best cheap available bottles, it's that. I mean, this at Kroger, sixteen ninety nine. It's hard to beat in today's market where everything's high. Yeah, it's hard to beat. Yeah. All right, last one for me, number, I guess this is number 11. Last one overall. <clears throat> well, I talked about them before. Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. I'm so disappointed that they went back to the amber bottle, but I understand that's the, the bread and butter. That's how they made their... They do stick out. Like, you got to give them credit. It, yeah. is, it is an old cowboy looking kind of it, it, bottle. It is. And let me just say this. It, they're not disappointing. No. Like, they are... I am so grateful for them being back in our area. I do miss the single barrels. Don't get me wrong. But, man, these batches that Aaron is just popping out left and right. We get them. Good thing is these dump monthly in our area. Yeah. Not not all the time, but you're able to stock up. We get a couple of different batches. So, if anybody there. is watching this and you have a batch 79, <laughs> please send me a message because I'm looking for, for an, I'm, I'm looking for another one. Pretty incredible. Yeah. So, uh, just throwing that out there. Yeah. But anyways, Uncut Unfiltered Rant. Like, I'm just, again, the proof points on these. This is, you know, we, I kind of, 112, 113. It is funny how we've had some people tell us, like, yeah, you just chase that high proof stuff. And I'm like, man, all the stuff that we like to really drink on daily is, like, a lot of that stuff stays. My highest proof right now that I'm drinking is this. C920, which is 132. Sure. But that's a rarity. But I'll tell you right now. So I, I just finished a 126. And I opened up a 109 Elijah Craig Barrel Proof uh, store pick. I love that 109. That 109 is the best one I have. Yeah. I, I would argue. So, but anyway, so I'm not a, yeah, we're not, we're not proof snobs. I mean, we, we like higher proof stuff sometimes, oh, but sometimes yeah. the higher proof stuff isn't good. That's true. So, so anyways, that's our daily drinkers. Um, you know, let us know in the comments below what you think about them. If you have access to any of these, or what are some of your yeah, favorite what are, daily yeah, drinkers? definitely, what are you drinking? Or if you're like us, or mostly me, and it's frustrated that you cannot find some of this just everyday stuff that we were just used to finding. I'm not talking about Sag General Car. I'm talking like, you know, yeah. wild turkey. So, uh, anyways, yeah, that's yeah. all I got. All right. Well, till next time, we'll see you. See you.